Flight prices are high because there are a ton of people that want to travel and not enough seats on planes to accommodate everyone. We will probably see even higher flight prices over the next year. Here are the three strategies that I will be following and you may also want to give a try in order to book the cheapest flights this year. The first tip is inspired by my favorite movie of the year. Don't think, just do. Buy now and think about it later. If you find a good flight deal, buy it. Buy it right away. Good deals will be few and far between and they will not last long. Book the flight immediately and then spend the next 24 hours making sure the trip is within your budget and that you can get the time off work and so on. And then before you come at me about how irresponsible this is, know that it isn't irresponsible at all. There is a reason I said spend the next 24 hours figuring out if you can go, and that's because any flight, even non-refundable flights, that start or end in the United States have a 24-hour cancellation window where you will be able to receive a full refund to your original payment method with no questions asked. This refund is not limited to a single ticket either. So if it is a family vacation, feel free to book the flight tickets for everyone and then speak to your husband or wife about it later. If it turns out that you can't make the trip, you are able to cancel with no penalty and no money lost. The second strategy that I am using to book flights at the best price would be to book in advance. Well in advance. If your date of intended travel is within one year, then start looking at those flights now and make the booking as soon as possible. You'll want to consider booking at least six months in advance for international travel and at least four months in advance for domestic flights within the US and Canada. Early in the new year, after the holiday rush, is a fantastic time to start looking at booking flights regardless of how late in the year you actually plan to travel. This is because fewer people are buying flights or buying much of anything this time of year and airlines can't get away with selling tickets at crazy prices like they could during popular travel times such as May long weekend, Thanksgiving, and the holiday season. And the third strategy that I will be using and that any traveler should be considering would be to keep travel plans as flexible as possible in order to get the best flight ticket. Being flexible on your destination and travel dates is the number one way to get the cheapest flight price by going wherever the flight sale takes you. Not having specific dates or a specific destination in mind is how people usually score an amazing last minute travel deal. But I recognize that most people have a set time that they are able to travel and often have a set destination in mind. The good news is that you can still take advantage of the cost savings of being a little bit flexible without having to change your existing travel plans. For example, Many cities have multiple airports close by and it's always worth checking flight prices departing from different airports. I'm personally based in Ottawa, but if I hop on the train for an hour and a half, I can get to the Montreal airport. And by flying out of the Montreal airport, which is much, much bigger than the Ottawa airport, I can usually end up saving up to half price on my flight ticket. Considering multiple departure airports and multiple arrival airports are just two of the ways that you can keep your travel plans flexible while still maintaining a set destination and travel date. Best of luck with your next flight booking and definitely consider subscribing to join us back here for more tips on how you can book the cheapest flights this year. Thanks for watching and safe travels. Bye.